Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. Ghanaian Member of Parliament Sam George says, I dare you. I dare you to try and, and, you know, influence or use your power to influence Ghana in a way that affects the country's economy. And this is because Ghana passed the anti-LGBTQ law and America came out to say that there'll be business consequences and the economy will suffer. And Sam George says, I dare you. I dare any business to stand against Ghana just because we've made a decision not to to you know abide or fall in line with the american agenda i dare you hello there how are you doing welcome to another episode of our conversations my name is adira ganga i'm a business journalist by profession and a digital content creator and i love coming on here and having conversations with you guys about black people africans our empowerment and how we can rise up and take our rightful place at the global stage connect with me on social media at adira ganga or you can come over to my channel, New Dawn Africa channel, where I profile the continent through people, politics, and culture. I just want, let's just start by the exact quote of what he said. He said, I will wage a campaign against their business interests if any country leads a sanction on the sponsors of the anti-LGBTQ law. He goes on to say, the West needs Ghana. No American business operating in Ghana will leave because of LGBTQ due to the profits that they are making. Hello, let's start the video there. So a couple of weeks ago, depending on when you see this video, Ghanaian members of parliament unanimously passed the anti-LGBTQ law. And this law is a very harsh law, to be honest with you. It's among the harshest laws on the African continent, um, together with Uganda. It calls for jail time for anybody identifying as LGBTQ. You'll also attract jail time if you know that somebody identifies as LGBTQ, but do not report them to the police. And even more harsher jail times for advocates and, you know, um, you cannot open LGBTQ organizations in Ghana. The one that was there, actually, they did so much, everything that they could in their power to shut it down. And immediately this bill passed, you know, all the pressure shifted to the president who all eyes were on him. Was he going to sign this bill into law or what was he going to do? Um, the president is a diplomat. Let's, let's establish that he's a lawyer, yeah? And anybody that has common sense knew he was not going to sign it. Um, Ghana is at a very critical point right now. Um, they just, they defaulted on their debt um, in December of 2021, I think. And they are in a, they're working on restructuring their debt. But most importantly, they have an IMF bailout package of $3 billion. Um, the World Bank has earmarked another $800 million um, to help economic recovery. All this could go away with a snap of a finger if the president signed that bill into law. And so the president said, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You, this, this is the last nine months of my time in office. Nobody is bringing that kind of chaos into my backyard. But in legal terms, he said, the bill is being contested in the Supreme Court. And so we have to wait until we see what the Supreme Court decides. But there have been various people voicing their concerns, you know. And the U.S. State Department said that... Um, they're saddened by the bill and it just criminalizes people from existing as their true self. But where it gets interesting is they say the business and the international community have expressed concern that the bill will have an impact on Ghana's um, businesses and economic growth. And that's where Sam George comes in. Sam George says that there's no business, no business whatsoever, that is going to leave Ghana just because Ghana has passed the anti-LGBTQ law. Why? Because they're not in, in Ghana to propagate this agenda. They're in Ghana to do business and make profit. That is established. He also goes to say that if there are sanctions against sponsors of this bill, then he's going to ensure, 
he's going the exact words uh I want to read the exact words. I will wage a campaign against the business interest if any country leads a sanction on sponsors of the anti-LGBTQ bill. The West needs Ghana. The West needs Ghana. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, and I have made this point. When the American ambassador, Virginia Palmer, makes the case she makes, I make the simple point that any American business operating in Ghana today it's not doing so because of LGBTQ. They are doing so because they are making a profit. And they would not leave Ghana because of LGBTQ when they look at their profit margin. And if they choose to pack bag and baggage and leave, another company will come in and make that profit. Ghana is a profitable country to do business in. And so we must, we must stop cheapening ourselves and making it look like we have no sense of self-worth. And I, that's why I question the president's circle of friends. Because the president said he's assuring Ghana's friends. Well, they are not Ghana's friends. They are his friends. Because no, that's, my, that's the Alfred, diplomatic community. Alfred, they are the friends Alfred, of Ghana, Alfred, not Alfred, the president Alfred, as an individual. Alfred, the president, the president as a former foreign affairs minister must have read Article 42 of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Article 42 prohibits ambassadors of foreign missions in Ghana from doing what many of them are doing. Which is? What have they done? Which is involving themselves in local politics. But you know what? Kwame PNM, a respected economist, says that if the IMF has to take any decision at all when it comes to this anti-LGBTQ plus bill, which you, members of parliament, have passed into law, it should be targeted at you, the MPs, for taking this decision. You should bear the brunt of whatever sanctions they would slap on Ghana because of that decision that you took. I speak for myself. I don't care. You don't care? And I've said it, look, and I've said you, it. You're ready to bear if, the, if, the, if, the if you, if action? If any country leads a sanction on the speaker or myself or the sponsors, I would wage a campaign in this country against all their business interest. And don't, don't underestimate the power of the forces of Ghanaians when we say we will shut down those businesses. It is, look, if they want to threaten us, we'll issue threats. And I'm issuing that on your platform. If they touch the speaker or any member of parliament, we will come after their business interest in says your S. Gracia should be withheld. That's one of the issues that should be of concern to the Ghanaian people. Ex Gracia, you see, and someone respected senior like Kwame Penim should know that this conversation of ex Gracia is a whole conversation on his own. How much well, is the ex Gracia? You are paying, as we speak, I'm in the fourth year of, this, of my second term in parliament. I don't know what my salary is. So if finally the presidential so emolument you committee... You don't, you don't know what your salary is, Minister. You are not, you I, don't are have, not... I don't have terms of conditions. There are no terms of conditions for any member of parliament in this parliament, in the 8th parliament. We are being paid on the terms of conditions of the 7th parliament. So when they determine in, in, in maybe October what mm -hmm. the terms of conditions, the presidential emolument commission determines what the co terms of conditions are, definitely nobody's salary. The law, Labor Act says you can't reduce somebody's salary. So definitely there will be increases. The differential... Is what is then lumped up over 48 months and paid to me. Is that an ex gracia You are paying me my salary differential. So what is this ex gracia conversation? And that's why I think that the respected Kwame Pianim should know better than, than to... But like I said, if they think they have the power to issue threats to anybody in Ghana, they should go ahead. It's within their legitimate right. But it also is within our legitimate right for me to lead a demonstration and shut down their businesses. It will be fair. It will be quid pro quo. And they should wait. And prepare for it. This is a little bit hypocritical because conse choices have consequences. When you sponsor that kind of a bill and you know where America stands, then you really need to be able to carry that cross to the very end. So on one hand, you're like, yeah, we don't care about America. But on the other hand, you're so scared that they're going to sanction you that you can't stand on your two feet. Um, on the business and then you're also finding a way to retaliate and we know that retaliation game doesn't work because some judge does not necessarily have the kind of power that he needs to um, twist or to make backdoor deals that can literally hurt anybody because what these companies do is that they'll override you. Kamala Harris was in Ghana. What did she come to do? What she did was give a word silent speech to mean there were closed door meetings that were happening when she was in Ghana. Those closed door meetings are the meetings that enable American business interests to thrive in Ghana. 
So trust you, me, Sam George, you have little to no power to influence those. Actually, the bill was passed. The president already said he's not going to sign it. And there's nothing that you can do at this point, you know. Um, so I think the influence of America runs way too deep, way too deep for just one lawmaker to say that they're going to fight. Unless the president is willing to support, then it's, it's all a waste of time. But then again, you never know. We're heading into the election season, and this is something that they could really use against the president's party and, and amass support from the public. So it can go either way. But here's what he had to say. Thank you so, so much for watching. Comment down below what your thoughts are. And, um, you know, connect with me on social media at Ndero Ganga. Or come over to my channel, Mute on Africa channel. I'll see you again next time.